Question 27. In which of the following intervals can you be sure that a root of x cubed plus x minus 1 has a root? So what we're going to do is we're going to check each one of these intervals. Now let's say, for example, we check a. What we're going to do is we're going to plug in x equals 0, and then plug in x equals uh, 0.5. And then see what we get when we plug it into the equation. Now, uh, you'll have to do this on your own, but uh, so when you plug in x equals 0 into this equation here, you'll get negative 1. And then when you plug in uh, 0.5, I'm going to do that now, I get negative 0.375. Now both are negative, which means you're not guaranteed a root there. Okay, so we go on to the next one. Uh, x is 0.5, and x is uh, 1. So we know that when we plug in x equals 0.5, we get a y value of negative 0.375. And when we plug in 1, again, if you're doing this on your calculator, plug in 1, you will get negative 1. So again, both negative, so not guaranteed a root. Remember, to guarantee a root, one has to be positive, one has to be negative. All right, so we got 1 and then 1.5. Well, we know that when you plug in 1, you get negative 1. So what do we get when we plug in 1.5? I get 3.875. One's negative, one's positive. That means at some point you have to cross the x-axis, which is when y equals 0, which is exactly the point of the problem. Uh, so our answer will be C. Just to verify, let's check out when we do D. If you do x equals 1.5 and x equals 2, Well, we know that when you plug in 1.5, you get this. So what happens when you plug in x equals 2? Again, plug in x equals 2. So 2 cubed, 2, um, so 9. But here, both positive, right? So not guaranteed anything if they're both positive only guaranteed something when one is negative and one is positive. And you'll find that when you do E, they'll both be positive. So our answer for 27 is C.